Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to this special furry friends edition of Yoga Club. I've got my favourite furry friends here and I hope you have too. That means your pets, your teddy bears or any other cuddly toys you might have and let them be part of your Yoga Club fun today. Now I will see you after this wonderful video with some brilliant shout outs for you. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin by crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There! Now we're ready to begin and today we're going off 100 years into the future to meet a very special dog called Sparks24. He's a robo-dog. A dog that's a robot. So we're going in a time machine. Coming up onto your knees and stick your leg out to the side. Lift your arm up to the air and let's open up the back door. Ooh. Bring your knees back together again. Stick your leg out to the other side. Now lift your other arm up and close the door behind you. Ooh! Wow! Our time machine is a big round bubble. Cross your legs and blow your bubble up. I think that'll be big enough. Let's crawl inside. We come onto all fours. And we reach in with one arm, two arms, one leg, two legs. There. We sit up nice and tall. We lean forward and we twiddle all of the lights and beepers. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Setting the time for a hundred years in the future. We're ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind your bottom, and let's lift our hips as we count down from five. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one, blast off! Up we go everyone, legs up in the air, we're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking and we're rolling and then we go very still and we go from the side to the other side as we zoom through time forwards by 100 years. We're coming in to land. Coming onto your knees, everyone, and tucking up into a tiny little ball. We sit up and stretch. Wow, it's bright out here. We need to put on our eye protectors. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, pop them over your eyes. That's better. But what's that funny whirring sound? Cross your legs, bring your hands together, and close your eyes and go um we open up our eyes and we see it's sparts 24 the robo dog hands down feet down and woof 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 sparts 24 does a big spin <laughs> he comes down onto his back paws and stretches out his front paws with a really big happy pant He's got two tails. Coming up onto all fours, he lifts up one tail and gives it a wag with a little pant. <laughs> then he puts that one down and lifts up the other one and pants again. <laughs> He's very happy to see us. He's got a green television screen on his tummy. Now rubbing a hand around on your tummy, can you pat your head at the same time? <gasps> yes, you can. Sparks24 says, when my tummy turns from green to red, it means that some part of my body has switched off. I need your help to help me switch myself back on again. You will hear a funny noise. Well, great. Now we know that, we can get on and explore the future. We get into a flying car. Put your legs out nice and wide. Wow, it's so cool as we flip over one side. And then we flip 
over the other side. We go all the way back up a hill. Whee! And down a hill. Wow! What a fun flying car. But we haven't seen much of the city. We get out and we look around. Wow! There are so many tall buildings. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands up above your head. They've got very pointy glass roofs. Wow! There are also lots of rivers in this city with lovely little bridges. Sitting on your bottom, put your hands behind your bottom and lift yourself up. We look in the water and we see there are lots of fish and they all have lights on their heads. Point your toes down. Come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up and look all the way up and behind you. Wow, what amazing fish. All of a sudden, though, we hear a funny noise. Oh no, Sparse 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Some part of him has switched off. Let's do the check. Sitting on our bottoms, we check his back paws. Lift them up. Yes, they still go side to side. What about his front paws? <coughs> yes, they still go side to side. What about his eyes? Cross your legs, stick your thumb out. Now, without moving your head, see if you can follow your thumb with your eyes. Up, down, side, side. Yes, they still work. Maybe it's his shoulders. Can we lift up one shoulder, two shoulders, drop the first shoulder, and the second shoulder going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Yes, you can. Wonderful. His shoulders are fine. Maybe it's his ears. Coming onto all fours, we say, Hello, Sparts 24. Oh, we don't hear anything. So it's his ears. Sitting back, give your ears a rub right from the bottom, right the way around to the top to switch them back on again. Sparks 24 can hear again. Woof, woof. He does a little spin. <laughs> Comes down onto his little legs and stretches out his front paws to say thank you. We're feeling quite peckish now, and Sparks24 leads us to the Yum Yum telephone. Sitting with your legs out long in front of you again, we pick up the receiver and we dial the Yum Yum telephone number. Yum 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 Sparks24 says that we have to ask for what we want and we must say please. Right, oh, hello, um, can I have a strawberry yoghurt? Please. Oh, coming right up, thanks. Okay, bye. Great, that's exciting. Now apparently when the other one rings, we have to say thank you. And that means we get our food in our mouths immediately. Ring, 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 ring. Ready? Hello? Oh, thank you. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. mm. What's yummy strawberry yoghurt? I'm feeling quite full now. But then we hear the funny noise again. <coughs> Sparks 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Oh no! Let's do the check. Is it his back paws? Sitting back, lift up your feet. <coughs> no, they still work. Maybe it's his front paws. <coughs> They're fine. Maybe it's his ears. It was those before. Coming onto all fours, we say, Hello, Sparks 24. Ruff, ruff. Oh, well, the ears are certainly working. Maybe it's his shoulders. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Up, up, la, 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 la. Wow, that's very clever. Maybe it's his eyes. Stick your thumb out. Let's see if we can follow that thumb with our eyes without moving our heads. Ready? Up. Hmm. Down. Hmm. Side. Hmm. Side. It's his eyes. Let's switch them back on again by doing five slow blinks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Sparks 24 is here again. He does another big spin. <laughs> Come 
swings back down onto his back legs, stretches out his front legs and says a happy robo dog thank you. <laughs> Sparks24 thinks we should go to the relaxation pods now because we clearly need to recharge our batteries. What a lovely idea! We could do with recharging our batteries as well. So we head to the relaxation pods and plug ourselves in. We lie all the way back onto our backs and put our arms down by our sides. Ah, what a lovely thing to take a few moments and recharge our batteries. Sometimes bits of our bodies can switch themselves off, like our ears. We stop listening. And it's just good to notice when a bit of our body switches off so that we can help it switch back on again, just like we helped Sparks 24. And now we can take this moment of peace and relaxation just to get our bodies feeling really good again. Let's take some lovely deep breaths. Very slowly, we start to wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes. We stretch our body up really long, like spaghetti. Then we bring our knees into our chests and give ourselves a cuddle. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed just the way we started with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret magic yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to the future with me, for meeting Sparks24. He loved you. I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. and welcome back. Now before we dive into the messages, you might not know this, but we have an app, the Cosmic Kids app. You will love it. Go and check it out at app.cosmickids.com. Loads more on there than you get anywhere else and none of the YouTube ads and banners. But now I just have to say hello to Ella Bell. I think it's Ella Bell who writes to suggest Luigi's Mansion for a yoga adventure. Maybe you'd enjoy the Mario and Luigi yoga over on the Cosmic Kids app, Ella Bell. I hope you have a look at it. Hello to mum Chelsea and daughter Lena and little brother Bobby. Lena, I hope you had a wonderful birthday on the 25th of February and you did lots of bouncing on your bouncy castle. It sounds like you had an amazing party. Hello to Alice, aged eight, living in Paris, but from London. Alice loves the Harry Potter yoga so much, she'd like to see more. All the scary bits. And for her brother, some Peppa Pig yoga. Great ideas, Alice. Harry Potter, the scary parts. That would be a really fun yoga adventure. Now on to our next video for Yoga Club. I will see you after for more of your amazing messages. Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Bear walks, coming down onto our hands and knees and spreading our fingers nice and wide. We tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky. Now come high up onto your tippy toes and walk like you're a bear, walking through the forest, looking for some nice tasty berries. Mmm. Now bear walks are very good for releasing your lower back. So if you've been sitting down for a while, this is a brilliant pose to do. Mm, yes, I've seen him too. But don't worry, keep calm and keep bear walking. He'll just think we're his bear friend. Bear walks. Hello? Anybody there? 
There's no answer. Hmm. So Goldilocks decides to try and push the door open with her hands in a warrior one pose. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back, bending into our front knee, stretching our arms in front of us and push the door. But <laughs> nope, that's not working either. She then decides to use her feet and push it open that way. Let's come on to our hands and knees, everybody. Tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Now, we lift up one of our feet to press it against the door. Push! Nope, that's not working either. Walking our feet in towards our hands and rolling up to stand. All of a sudden, Goldilocks spots a little gap. A little hole, which she will fit through if she wiggles on her tummy. So, coming to lie on our tummies, everybody. Hands under our shoulders, untucking our toes. We wriggle our shoulders up as we wriggle inside like a little snake. In she goes. And the first thing she spots on the table are three bowls of porridge. Let's do our bowl pose. Coming to lie flat on our tummies, we bring one foot in towards our bottom and the other foot in towards our bottom. Now, can we reach round and grab our ankle? Yes, and reach round the other way and grab our other ankle. Now we kick our feet into our hands as we lift up into our bowl pose. Very good. Now, there's a daddy bowl, a mummy bowl, and a baby bowl. And Goldilocks decides to try the daddy bowl first. Coming all the way up to sit with our legs wide. We grab our foot to be the spoon and we stir it, stir it, stir it. She takes a taste. Oh, much too hot. She snuggles on down, legs long, arms long, oh, and she falls asleep. <coughs> Meanwhile, the owners of the cottage return. Three bears. Let's do our bear walking. Coming up to sit, everyone onto our heels. Now we take our hands forwards in front of us, tuck our toes and lift our hips. Now we lift and lower one leg at a time. Like we're bears walking through the woods. Doopy doo, doopy doo, doopy dee doopy doopy doo. They go into their cottage and the first thing they spot are the three bowls of porridge on the table. We don't all like things the same way. We're all different and that's okay. We don't have to think and feel every about everything the same way. So let's just accept each and every person or bear can have their own thoughts and feelings. Hello and welcome back. You can get your message to me for a shout out here on Yoga Club by emailing me at yogaclub at cosmickids.com. I might not get it right on the day you want it, so keep a lookout and it will happen, I promise. Now, hello to Ekagra and your mum, Kab is it Kabir? Kabir, what a lovely message. I feel very, very honoured to be your yoga teacher. Hello to Audrey in New Brunswick, Canada, who loves horses and riding horses, so would love to see a horse yoga. I love horses too, Audrey. Yes, I love that. Hello to Rocket, aged five and from Queens in New York, USA. Rocket would love an Encanto yoga. Oh yes, Rocket, I am so, so with you on that. It's definitely on my list. And hello to Lily and all your wonderful daycare kids. Nora, Jeremy, Ashton, Eleonora and Lucy. Hello! Wonderful to hear that you enjoy the Halloween yoga so much. I've passed on a little hello to Ruby Broom for you. Now back into the fun of Yoga Club and I will see you after this for our final shout outs. <laughs> Hello everyone! Today we get warm and ready for anything with a hello to the sun. Come to stand.
with your feet hip distance apart. Then reach up to the sun, wave at the sky and say, hello sun, hello sun. Then we turn to the side and we fold all the way forwards, bending our knees a little bit as we go so that we can touch the floor and say hello to the earth. Hello earth. Then we step one foot all the way back behind us, coming up high on our fingertips like tents. And we start our engines with a beep, beep, yes. We flatten our hands down and step our other foot back, coming into our plank pose with a nice strong tummy. Then we lower all the way down to our knees and all the way down onto our chest, untucking our toes. We curl our shoulders round, peel our chest off the ground and we hiss like hissy snakes. Then we tuck our toes, come up onto our knees and press our hips up to the sky, coming down onto our heels, pressing into our hands to woof like happy little dogs. Woof, 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 woof. We lift up one of our legs behind us and we wag it like a happy tail. Then we put it between our hands again, coming up high onto our tippy-tippy-tip fingers. Then we say, beep, beep, yay! We step our other foot forwards, bringing our feet together, and we wave at the earth, saying, hello, earth. We stretch on up to the sky to say hello to the sun. Hello, sun, lowering our arms back to the side. Now, let's do that on the other side. Reach on up to the sun and say hello to the sun. Hello, sun. Turn to the side, fold all the way forwards, bending our knees to say hello to the earth. Hello, earth. This time we step back with the other leg, staying high up on our fingers, and we say beep, beep. Yay! We flatten our hands down, step our other leg back and come high into our plank pose, nice and strong, like the top of a push-up. Lowering down onto your knees, lower your chest all the way down to the ground, untuck your toes, curl your shoulders back and lift your chest. And we hiss like a snake. We curl our toes under again, press up onto our knees and then press our hips up into the sky, lowering our heels down if we can as well, to woof like a happy dog. Woof, 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 woof. We lift our other leg up to the sky and wag it like a tail. Then we put it between our hands, coming high up onto our fingertips again and we start our engines with a beep, beep. Well done. We step our other foot forward, bring our feet together and we wave to the earth. Hello, Earth. Then we stretch on up to the sky, turning to the front to wave at the sun and say, Hello, Sun. We lower our arms back to our sides and we stand, feeling warm and ready for anything. Have a great day. Hello and welcome back. Now to our final hellos and shout outs. Hello to Wyatt who is four and baby brother Sawyer who is just five months old. Also known as Soybean. Oh, I love that, what a cute name. A big hello to you all in Colorado and thank you for the idea to do a fire truck yoga. Good one. To answer your question, it's very cool being a yoga teacher. Yoga is such a wonderful practice and it's a joy to pass it on to others, knowing it will help so much. Thank you so much for your lovely message. Finally, a big hello to Logan, who turned four in January and loves doing yoga every day, sometimes with his older siblings too. Glad that you are enjoying the discos and the super yoga so much. More of these are coming. I love the ideas for super yoga themes, the beach and spring. How lovely would that be? And, and how to train your dragon. Yes, I really like that idea too. I really enjoy those books. Thanks so much to you, Logan and Heather for writing. Now I will see you next time for more of your brilliant shout outs. In the meantime, let's enjoy the rest of our yoga club. Bye.
Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, our place for helping our minds be healthy, strong and happy. Have you noticed? Lots of people are now doing things to look after their mental health. That means the health of their minds. One of them is mindfulness, which is something lots of kids and grown-ups are finding really helpful all over the world. Here in the Zen Den, we often try out mindfulness techniques. I'm going to talk about them in a new way today, so you can try it if you want to. Mindfulness is brilliant because it can help you in so many ways. If you find yourself getting nervous if the teacher asks you a question, mindfulness can help. Or if you worry about taking tests, <sighs> mindfulness can help. If you're worried about getting something wrong or not knowing how to do something, or you sometimes find yourself getting frustrated, the answer is usually mindfulness. So what is it? What is mindfulness? And how do we do it? Have you heard of meditation? Well, mindfulness and meditation are pretty much the same thing. We take some time, just a few minutes to start off with, and we give our attention to one thing, like our breathing. We just notice our breath coming in and going out. It's amazing though. This sounds easy, but it's not. Because normally our mind will start having thoughts which take us away from the thing we were focusing on. Just like a dog who goes from thinking ball, then bone, then squirrel, all in the space of five seconds. One minute, we're focused on our breathing. The next, we're thinking about, hmm, what's for dinner? Then about something someone said at school today. Then about how much we're looking forward to the weekend. Then about our favourite TV show. Then about... Oh, just so many thoughts. And it's just not very relaxing. When we practice mindfulness, we are training our mind to be better at focusing and choosing which thoughts we want to act on or let pass. We want that dog to slow down and to settle on one thing for a bit longer. And the great thing is, this will make us feel more calm and relaxed, which is lovely. When I practice, I can almost see my thoughts passing and I can choose which ones to act on and which to leave alone and let go. It's like I'm standing on the side of a road watching buses going past. These are my thoughts. and I can decide which ones I want to ride and which aren't going my way. We only get to know our mind though when we spend time with it. And that is what our mindfulness practice is. Okay, so here's how I practice mindfulness. You can call it meditation if you like. They're both the same thing really. I'll explain what I do and if you listen carefully, You'll learn what I do and you can try it yourself whenever you like. Okay, here's how it works. Posture. I find it easiest if I sit with a nice tall spine, like I'm sitting on a throne, like a king or queen, with either both feet on the floor or sitting with my legs crossed. A slouchy posture makes it hard for me to pay attention well. My eyes, I like to close mine, our eyes can be a window for all sorts of things that make our mind busier with thoughts. So I find it really helps just to close them. Hands. I try and keep my hands still and rest them on my knees or in my lap. Three deep breaths. I take three big filling up breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. Now. I just notice. As I sit for a few moments, I focus on my breath coming in and going out. And that's it. Now, please remember to be kind to yourself and curious. We are interested to see what we notice. 
And we don't judge ourselves as bad or good if our mind keeps jumping about like the little dog jumping around from thought to thought. It is what it is. If we manage to keep noticing it and bringing it back, then great. Now practice. It's good to try and do this for a few minutes at the same time every day. This is how you build a strong and connected relationship with your mind. So, just to recap, posture. Sitting nice and tall like a king or queen. Keeping our hands nice and still. Closing our eyes. And taking three deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. Then we notice watching our breath coming in and going out, coming in and going out. I like to do my mindfulness practice each morning for five minutes. I find that when I do this, I'm much calmer in the day and I'm better at learning things and dealing with whatever comes up that day. I also do it at night when I'm going to sleep Sometimes my mind will still be busy with thoughts and I need to settle it down a bit. So I lie in bed, close my eyes and focus on the breath coming in through my nose and out through my mouth. Usually just doing a few of these deeper breaths helps me drop off. I hope that's helped you understand what mindfulness is a bit more and you feel like you know a little bit more about how it can help you deal with things that happen in your life. Remember, it's a practice, something we do over and over to stay in tune with our mind and feel happier generally. And we can do it whenever we need. So keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den Master. Bye-bye.